Hello, champions, and welcome back to What's My Role, episode 19. We're a group of adventurers exploring the many realms of World of Warcraft and MMOs, sharing our experiences, learning our roles together, and embracing the chaos. I'm Bean, joined today by Vindo Viper, <laughs> Donix, hey. and GT Goat. <laughs> you guys are quiet today. <laughs> you oh, sorry. The mic was. Uh, oh, you guys are yeah, both muted. The mic. The mic yeah, muted. I'm muted. I was like, nobody's saying anything. <laughs> uh, today, we're just kind of going to chat about team composition and our coordination. Uh, and we've been in Dragonflight season four for three weeks now. So we've kind of had a little bit more time to kind of get into things. And uh, what we were just talking about before I hit record is GT Goat possibly switching over to Unholy. And then what is it that you were saying after that? Getting good. Oh, maybe. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, this shit. I'll show you. I'm just messing with you, man. Um, <laughs> no, it's the recent patch stuff. I guess Unholy's got a new set, like not new, but the set bonus they set for this whole new season is supposed to be pretty cool. Um, oh. Yeah, it probably require you to get different weapons, which is the downside because I, I don't. I think Frost requires like a lot of two hander and Unholy's two one handers, or vice versa, or something. Yeah, I think it's the other way around. Yeah, two two one handers for Frost and one one big fatty for Unholy. Mm. Way, hands involved. I guess uh, Unholy also has a really good um, uh, uh, cleave setup. So like the when the big pulls for Mythic Pluses, He's which pumping is, on that AOE damage. Yeah. It's massive. You just start unloading on that big group stuff, which um, it's nice to have. Because honestly, on the non, uh, on the uh, the fortified weeks, it's those, it's gonna be hard. There's a lot of this stuff that we're fighting that's gonna be really, really hard to clear quickly. Yeah, it looks like a two-handed mace is the current bis for unholy Sarga Smasher. Yeah, is that the uh, um, the legendary? Um, I don't think no. that's no, a legendary. No, that's the one out of. Um... Oh, what's that dungeon we did with the Neltharis. all the fire? Neltharis. Yeah, Neltharian's Leia. Oh. It drops oh, off the last boss. So it says that um, Sarga Smasher is the bis weapon. Oh, I'm looking at Mythic Plus. So the the raid bis slot is the Fearleth Dream Render, which is the legendary from uh, Amir Drasil's Fate and Farak. Well, that is interesting. There wasn't really any news to cover, so we'll kind of just chat about how everything's been going, though. Yeah, we're kind of getting to the point where we have enough people in the guild to where a mythic knight gets a little bit, like... Crowded. Yeah, there's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Not enough to raid, but there's a lot of people for running mythics, so... Well, and we're almost there, like... We have two healers. We have one tank. I think we need to get another tank that is comfortable going DPS as well, so that way they can go tank when it's possible, or you know, join DPS when it's available. Right. We're, yeah, we're almost there. Like like two consistent tens, by ten people, and then at that point, might as well raid. Yeah, and 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 if we do have nights like that where we we're like stacked in the Discord, of course, uh, being able to raid is going to be what we want to be doing but uh i put a poll in our little chat that we have like who wants to tank who wants to heal and literally everybody said they want to tank so we kind of have to figure out who actually is going to i'm already tanking so we need to have kind of a solid someone who's like i really want to tank and i'm willing to you know commit as the tank because when you're doing that role you kind of have to have the time to be there when you're needed you know yeah, and I think I interpreted that poll differently. I was thinking yeah. it was like, like, what would you, what are you comfortable playing? Yeah, yeah what see, are you that's what to you do? had said. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, well, I, I'll do whatever. I yeah. mean, yeah, and that's that's kind of the thing. Is like, I think we're all kind of like, if the group needs me to do this, I'll do it. <clears throat> but yeah, I was putting it out there to see like what people actually wanted to do, like. Like maybe somebody's having fun DPSing, but they're like, I'm really want more, you know, more responsibilities, yeah. more, uh, more yeah. learning and DPS less just harder. <laughs> yeah. Like, Big numbers. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, and that's the thing you gotta, uh, we need a tank. We need 
a healer and then you need the three dps and we could fill the dps easy and you can even plug dps reasonably comfortably that's true um, too w- without having too much worry but really good dps are the key to mythics right like you can't you have to be able to stack your stuns you have to be able to just push out ridiculous numbers of damage mm-hmm. and you also have to be cocky and you got to be a good cocky oh fire yeah mage. Um, so <laughs> so yeah i don't know like how are we going to decide that uh and then beyond just who's going to be the tank what what's the you know spec and class that they're going to play as the second tank survival hunter yeah survival hunter all day <laughs> just their um, traps everywhere <laughs> well and that's kind of where i'm at the point of i'm i'm trying to get a few different characters prepped for when we need things like i understand that like it's good to have the warlock dps but if we don't have a healer to run something then we're screwed. yeah we're kind of we don't have a tank we're screwed mm-hmm. so it doesn't really matter yeah. um that being said i'm i'm good with taking a role in raids that i wouldn't take in a mythic like mm-hmm. just to get it going um that's right. not to say i wouldn't you know tank a mythic or whatever but i mean at this point i'm just looking at ways that we can try and fill gaps yeah. um the well and i i see that same point too like play a paladin where you can go DPS and mythics and then <clears throat> jump over as ret and, and tanking. Although two ret pally or two prop pallies is probably not the preferred option there. I, 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 yeah. Not really. But yeah. same, same for druid, right? Or play a priest where you can heal and DPS, right? The problem is, is that like you got your warlock who's super decked out. You're pushing out tons of damage. You're constantly at the top of the meter. And then you go switch to your tank. And then we have other people that are, you know, okay, DPS, but it's not like like we need a couple of those top people in mythics to to make it over to the raid and do it too yeah it sucks because I, I get your thing you're i want to be useful i want to actually raid and and i'm in the same way like that's the only reason i got healing right now but i think also that that dps gap is starting to close like people are are really getting used to their classes getting their rotations down um you know with uh mr e i mean for the oh, yeah. most part, he's topping. Like he but, pumps. You know, he's a he's a demon hunter, so it doesn't count. <laughs> it's um, all bullshit. <laughs> exactly. All numbers, so. But I mean, we got people that are pushing big numbers. So um if it's utility based, then yeah, I agree. Like the you know, uh, the utility of my warlock over another class. But if it's just straight numbers for DPS, <laughs> I think we're starting to close that gap. Yeah, because, you know, we're only, you know, three weeks almost down. So people are starting to get that gear that they need. And, you know, they do have these kind of systems in place that cap you and kind of slow down the the gearing up progress, even though it's much faster than, you know, previous seasons. Just because it's kind of the whole faded, like, last hurrah type deal. The DPS is rising, and that's kind of where the big slowdown is in mythics i feel right now is just getting the dps up there because i'm actually able to survive pretty well in most situations but i i need that dps to kind of stop things before they get out of control yeah and i'm no by no means am i saying i'm like the perfect tank or anything <laughs> um the dps's problem right now at least as the healer viewpoint is, is they're dying and as much as i'll take some responsibility as the healer not keeping them up it's mechanics and it's hard yep. because we oh, all yeah. just need yeah. to a we need to die to the mechanics we got to figure it out uh, and then put it to where it needs to go like you know like start executing and kind of tighten everything up and the cool thing is is figuring that out in mythics moving into raid and doing that on a larger scale mm-hmm. is absolutely important like normal raid i don't expect I, I wouldn't be surprised if we go to the raid and we just wipe through normals uh like like at our current gear level we should be able to wipe through normals pretty comfortably yeah um you should be able to do normals at 480 and 490 uh and that's more or less where everybody's at right now so Mm -hmm. and that that's kind of the thing is like just from like the past few weeks we have done like a dungeon that took two hours just the other night (laughs) it was just a plus two took us two hours how many no shame (laughs) and then uh the week before that we did almost two hours i want to say in a different dungeon what was it it was uh oldeman 
we were in there for a long time. And I feel like that's very similar to how like the hardcore rating is going to be where we're going to be wiping a lot, but nobody's like getting pissed off. Nobody's, no. uh, everyone's having a good time. And that's the important I was, thing. I was exhausted last night. Uh, I was tired. So, I was <laughs> tired and it wasn't terrible. It was just like, I know we can do it. And it's just a matter of us executing it. And I was just like, oh, now I got to walk back again. And <laughs> fuck, I got to re res you walk. guys too. So that's even worse. But I mean, overall, it was a good experience. We learned a lot, I feel, from it. Oh, yeah. Well, and, uh, here you, we go back again on a Mythic Zero or Plus Two or something. Well, A, we'll likely time it. And B, we'll be significantly less deaths on something like that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Two likes at worst. <laughs> 10 deaths kind of thing versus what 86 or whatever we ended up being at. How are you feeling uh, through all that Donix and goat? <laughs> oh, God, um, I was getting aggravated because like in the old ones, I knew how close I could be to the shit circle. Well, apparently you can't be as close as you were in the last one. They're a little bit bigger. It seems like, so you're, you're catching the edge of it a lot more, or at least I was. Oh yeah. So it was down on me a lot. And if it just touches you too, it's like, yeah, very well, painful. <laughs> well, it's also like from last season, you get, you get used to certain mechanics where, you know, we know that, oh, when this happens, you get out of the big circle. And then when this happens, you run into the bubble and stun you know, this guy and yeah, yeah. stun this guy and do <laughs> this. Um, we're at those right now. We're at that learning stage for these dungeons just like we were last season when we were first starting um and it's just going to take time and rep repetition to get the feel of those mechanics so like the last boss last night the uh primal typhoon or mm -hmm. tsunami or whatever yep. yeah um really that that fight is all about movement not dps Okay. Yeah, like if Just you can put out DPS, that's great. Yeah, but it's all about move, 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 move. Well, and yeah. um, look at the the gulping the the toad was all about oh, yeah. stack up, rotate, bring it in, kill. Yep, repeat. Uh, and I was looking sick. at the damage, uh, and the gulping Goliath is what did the most damage to us in that dungeon. <laughs> yeah, unsurprisingly, it's just it seems like. With that dungeon, like, looking at that dungeon, every fight is about movement. It's not necessarily, they're not, they're not tank and spanks. Um, all the mechanics are all about moving out of stuff, getting behind something, um, dodging stuff. And I think sometimes our group gets a little... Um, full of our DPS wise, we, we get focused on just doing as much as possible, doing as much as possible. And it gets hard to pay attention to those little things where we have mm -hmm. to move and we have to get behind something or, you know, I know, uh, talking with Aspen, like she would sit there and, and when we were doing the, uh, the boss where you had to get behind the boulders, mm -hmm. she's so focused on doing her rotation and she thinks there's a boulder next to her, but it's a broken one. Oh, yeah. yeah. But because she was focused on her DPS, she didn't realize, oh, crap, that's not one I can get behind. Yeah. So it, it's going to take time. It, it's going to take a little bit of just getting used to these dungeons and getting used to the mechanics. Well, we even had, <laughs> so the healer was right. Stay out of yes, the shit. Yes. <laughs> For one, we we right. even had a, like, during that ice one, when I think it ended up being the three of us still alive. And we, we finished it off mainly because it's all about just doing the rotation. The, no enraged, no nothing. At least with the the one we were in, and I think there was like one time during that entire rotation where we accidentally destroyed one of the close ones, and then like I remember you were like Donix, you were like, "Oh crap, I'm not gonna be able to make that." I was able to like grab <laughs> yeah. you and rescue you over, and then like get us back in there, kind of thing. Like the and, that, and but you have like you have your warlock teleport, the, your portal, which is not something that on the top of your head you naturally go i need to drop this which is not easy yeah. trust me i played warlock back it's not an easy thing to do but when you could figure that out those are like the hey i like if you already know where the next safe one is way the heck out there you could throw the portal drop it for everyone to use everybody yeah. just jumps in we all pop behind oh. it and then we just and then we can run back yeah 
next level shit. And those are, and, then, and stuff like that is just stuff we're going to pick up as we go along doing these. Yep. But we, we just need to remember we're still, we're learning these dungeons. Like we, we're not going to blow through them right away. We're also a really yeah. big negative because we weren't around during season one. At least and everybody was. I, I was, but I didn't do a ton of mythics. So I'm not going to act like I know what I'm doing. But people that went through that entire first season, they already know all the mythic mechanics. That hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. They didn't do anything new. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they already know. I mean, it's harder. The gear stuff, they take more damage, all that crap. But, like, they know how to tackle it. So they can jump in and start swinging. That's why you're seeing people that are doing plus eights, plus tens already on those, like, looking for groups. And I'm like, yeah, right. No. Oh, shit. What was I about to say? Oh, I was going to say... It's also, it, it feels like when we knock out a zero, it's like, no, this isn't bad at all. And then we do the plus two and it's like <laughs> a lot harder. Mm-hmm. And that's because we're not having the fortified or the mm-hmm. tyrannical anymore is not in the zero. Yeah. So it, yeah, it's already like, not only are you timed and everything stronger, but you also have this affix that is now being applied. Well, so those, it really is kind of a big step, even from the zero to the plus two. And those base, those base modifiers, tyrannical and modified, are all they are really is DPS checks. Like you as a tank are getting your, the shit beat out of you more. People are getting little AOE damages more. So it's it's a little bit of making sure you're staying out of stuff. But it's also <laughs> a uh, you know gear gear check more or less. Like you just mm-hmm. the higher level you get, the more tyrannical is. It's just a, a harder boss that you have to start pumping out like crazy. Yeah, um, so it's like if you got the good gear and you know the mechanics and stay out of the shit, it yeah. shouldn't be a problem, right? So Mythic Zero is figuring mechanics, and then Mythic Two is that like you have to do the mechanics, and then you still have to be able to execute your rotation. And then we start yeah. like Mythic was it five is when they start adding the the next one in. Yep, then, five is when the second one comes seven in. Seven or eight, I think, or maybe ten. I don't. Know. No, it's ten for the it's last ten. one. Oh wow. Okay. So we Which we, we may not even get to that point. You know, <laughs> that'd be great we if might. we do. But we might. I know our goal is. I think getting fives across the board will get us the achievement. Is so achieve? okay, I haven't seen that. So that's just the second affix. But I would like to see the third affix just to kind of get the full experience. You know, but that was a really good point, Donix, about how. That whole dungeon, you know, not not really considering the trash, but every boss fight is super movement based where every boss that we were dying to, now that I think about it, it was all from stuff that we couldn't get out of or couldn't avoid. That's how we were dying almost every time. Well, the magma show one we did last week uh, in Notharians later, the big tusk elephant guy, mm-hmm. there was a point where we figured like you and I figured it out and we're just like sidestepping it and fighting. I mean, he keeps sending out more fire and he's going to get worse and worse, but we're both like, we can just do this all day. Like I can do this dance, right? Like infinite. Mm-hmm. And, when, and then like, you got things like goat, right? Goat's a newer player to wow. And he's learning not just his own class, but then he's also learning the, the, the mythics he's learning tons and tons of stuff all at once and you're mm-hmm. i'm seeing it all come together it's really cool your your rotation's becoming second nature so you're, you're just pushing your damage output without even thinking yeah. about it and then i'm even seeing like these boss fights where we will die five times in the boss fight that like right off the bat you're taking some like crater to the face and you're just like oh shit we gotta get <laughs> back like, up and, it, and, it, and it's brutal. like you don't know and that's okay like it's we're not there's nothing wrong with it it's just it's part of the experience and learning it but like by the time we get that done you're you're sidestepping, you're moving around, and your your damage charts are still going higher. So halfway through, you're figuring out the, how to like survive it, but then your damage isn't high because you're too busy focusing on surviving. But then like the second nature of using your rotation without even thinking about it, and then getting your rotation like moving around when you have to. It's it's really cool to see the evolution of you as as you're fighting to it. It's it, it it's I'm jealous because I don't think I'm any much higher tier by any means, but. I don't see myself improving. I actually just, all I see is the failures I had. I don't get to see us, you know, stacking up and getting better. And I get to right. see you, like, <laughs> like, like, figure your shit out. And I was like, this is cool, man. Well, like with this season, that's what's throwing me off is everything is movement. Mm-hmm. Move, and you're, wait, move, wait. <laughs> well, and you're the slowest class in yeah. <laughs> And so. Yeah. You picked me up a couple times. I will. Yeah. I'll try where I can. <laughs> Take him into your arms. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to create like a, a modifier macro for you. Like if I hold down control and click it, then, uh, then like <laughs> auto targets the, the you. Grab goat button. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, that'd yeah, be funny. You need to, to like set up some text to pl- <laughs> go through whenever you do it. Too. Yeah, when we first started doing Mythics on this, it, that's what was killing me. It was constantly move. Oh shit, where was my rotation at? Then I'm having to like, okay, that's that's still quick. We're still good rotating on this. Timers up on that. Then having yeah. to just like reset myself as we go. And now I'm more more fluent. I'm not to where I need to be yet. I feel like. Well, you were looking at your bars before. You're lo- you're like, oh, uh, that one's off cooldown, or oh, I, I, that's glowing. I need to hit. And whereas, like later on, you'll kind of naturally get like the you'll see the glowing below your yeah. screen while you're watching everything else. And you're like, oh yeah, that's definitely that skill. And I just got to pop <laughs> it like without even thinking right. about it. Yeah, that, that's where I was at the end of last season. This season with the movement, I'm having to double check everything. Yep, yeah, that's still good. That's still good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but imagine now trying I'm... to like learn this season. Both learn your class oh, and yeah. learn the same. Like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. This is not fun. I would have that six month package. Probably what would happen. Uh, did you look at if your rotation has changed at all I with not. season four? Because it's possible that uh, some abilities and talents and things have kind of changed a little bit to where maybe some of your stuff that used to be super important is a little bit less important now. Well, so in the text earlier, you know, I it bothered me because last night, like, I knew I could do more damage, and I just was not doing the damage I usually do. Yeah, and it finally clicked in my head this afternoon. I was like, hey, you didn't enchant that new weapon you just put on your on your character. Like, <laughs> that, that could be some of it. I'm not saying that that's exactly it, but yeah. Well, I mean, every little bit helps. But we we can try and take a look because it may very well be that. Well, you've there's the just be- kind of been a huge rotational change that you haven't uh, uh, noticed. Well, at the beginning of this season, I mean, I was putting out decent numbers, and it felt like my numbers have dropped, and I couldn't figure out why. I'm doing the same thing. We're doing well, that, that's methods. just like Bindo was saying, where you've kind of got you've got to stay alive before you can yeah. worry about the damage, and there, you're oh, having yeah, to yeah. run around so much and stuff that it's yeah. it's really damaging your numbers. Run. I think you just shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> well and there's benefits like they you're um <clears throat> that one boss we did in ruby life pools where it has the wind at the end and it starts pushing people left and right and whatnot yeah it you can hit death's advance and you don't get moved you could just stand there and fight like yeah. that's it's like you no one else can do that in that uh, in that game like you can't just say oh your movement mechanic <laughs> you're an idiot let me just it just hit that well, button with that wind map, it, it seems like I can pretty much stay right on, tar- on yeah. target without any. No, you should anything. see everybody else, man. I'm, I had to like rescue somebody. I'm using my jumps. Every <laughs> every single other person is like, oh, 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 and, I'm, and I'm just see you just sitting there like beating the crap out of the thing. Still, so like I'm so jealous. What's the cooldown on Death's Advance? I think he gets two stacks of it, depending on like talents. I think I it think depends on how it's stuff up how he's specced. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how it compares to Divine Steed, because that's usually what I end up using whenever there's kind of something trying to blow me away. I don't even Divine know Steed is your we're too heavy. It, my little mini, horsey. Like, it's like a char, but it's like a, a speed boof. boof. I don't think it's the same. Boof. I think it was still like you'll still have resistance when like that during that mechanic. Oh, so he doesn't Ghost? feel the resistance at all. No, with Ghost, this advance, a, Goat's ability touch. just like nah, it nullifies it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, also, fuck you, that it also works for like there's like bosses that have like a knockback effect where you fight and then it knocks the entire party and then you have to like charge back in oh, and he, he can, can ignore the that? button and he can just say nope i'm done oh no my and horses actually, don't do that it's even cooler too because you can do like i have if he's if he keeps himself there i could use my uh, i have a heal where i charge to somebody within 30 yards and heal them so yeah. he can lock himself i get knocked back and then i can charge right back to him without using any of my movement abilities Oh. And then while I'm there, I could even go back and like rescue somebody else if I wanted to. And like, there's just cool things you could do with it. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so there is there is at least one movement thing that is good for you. Then, <laughs> well, and it, it used to be really bad because that was the only thing you had, and it, it didn't actually give you any movement speed buff back in the day. It literally just said you can't be interrupted. Now it gives <laughs> you like a forty percent movement speed or something like that. So it's like a mm. little mini dash. It's not super fast, but it definitely helps. Right. But yeah, I was looking and I think uh, I bought a bunch of these howling runes that are good for my weapon. And I think those probably be good for you, too. Thanks to uh, what's his name for pointing that out to us. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. That was uh, Blackstone Plainview, Blackstone, right? Blackstone, yeah. Are they, yeah. Uh, are, are they outside of your weapon enchantment? Yep. Yeah, it's a separate thing. 
I can oh, have okay. my enchantment and my rune going at the same time. So I wonder how it works. Very nice. His, his rune forging stuff on his death knight weapons. It should stack. But yeah, I don't so. see why it wouldn't, because that's kind of just like a death knight feature, right? Can you stack rune forging, enchant, and this rune? Like, does do those stack, or can you either have an enchant or a rune forging? I, I don't remember. No, they stack. You can have an enchantman, rune forge. That sounds gross. Right, we can do the hamster Hell experiment yeah. here in a little bit, okay? Because I still got to learn all <laughs> that crap. Yeah, well, <laughs> you have to, like, every, every time you get a new weapon, dive. you can go back to your Acorus hold or whatever it is, that little gate, the death yeah. gate. And then you go to those rune forgers and you can like apply one of like 10 runes or whatever. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. So the rune thing. Sorry. Yeah. Not the enchantment. <laughs> so you said you got a new weapon. So you could put that rune forging on it. And then you could also go get like Sophic Devotion or whatever. I like know, that name. Enchant. Yeah, it was. Sophic Devotion. Yeah, it was like Soft Devotion, I think. Sophic it, what does, it Sophic. do? It just increases his like. It's a chance of using your abilities to give you your primary stat. Uh, yeah, and and another stat I forget. I, I know there was one thing he had that like when he's at max health it like buffs his something something. I don't know. I, maybe that was his uh, embellishment. I think it, that I was looking at. Oh, but yeah, uh, super quick. <laughs> so I I talked about this earlier in the chat, but last night's stream I didn't have the Discord audio turned on. So it was just me fucking talking to no <laughs> I one. Even... I mean, I was talking to Blackstone Plainview, but I was just like reacting and laughing, laughing, and it's nobody just else like a psycho dude. person. I looked, and you were the only one in Discord too. So I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay, I kept I'm losing my it, guys. You in Discord, and I was like, I don't know who's talking. How are we right. communicating? <laughs> that must have sounded interesting. I know. I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, good conversations going too. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of funny stuff, mm -hmm. uh, as Not you could anymore. tell from me laughing at nothing. I was really wanting to get that moment where uh, you had died, goat, and we were on the little gauntlet. Point me. Oh, you're like big surprise. <laughs> 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 you had died, and we were like running to go fight the boss finally, and you're like, "Don't forget me." <laughs> <laughs> And it I was so funny. This. I'm going to go through the stream and I'm going to cut every single moment. You're like, <laughs> There's, it's going to be the whole stream. Just me. It's just you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what the fuck's he laughing at? This dude's nuts. <laughs> it's going to be a super cut of it. It's going to be so help. good. When well okay. Uh, if you're watching this Blackstone plan view, next time you hear me talking to myself, let me know and I will, uh, I'll fix it. <laughs> no, that. no, no. Because that's not keep intentional. Him, keep him in the dark. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Just let me continue to be a psychopath. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, what do you have? Yeah, going back to kind of talking about his possibly his rotation changing or something like that uh, with the new season. I think that's something that we all need to maybe look at and see if things have changed for kind of the optimal spec for our classes. Because I know that with the tier changes to some of the classes, depending on what season got voted in, that's going to change what your rotation's going to look like, that's going to change your talent trees and stuff like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Two and four pieces are going to be, yeah. if, if they're different than what you had last season, they're going to be changing the way you want to use abilities. I'm going to bring up something. I don't like bringing it up because it's what I got really annoyed about when I used to raid before. Um, with us trying to push, to try and push Mythics the best we can, um, it kind of sucks, but it's going to pigeonhole people into certain specs. Um, yep. It sucks. I don't like it, and it's the reason why I quit raiding before, because I don't like people telling me how to how to play my character, what to play, and what like that. But unfortunately, it's kind of a byproduct of what we're trying to achieve. Well, we don't have to meta chase, right? Not meta like, chase. So Warlock, just as an example, just because we're on the subject of it, uh, I feel like you can play any three of those Warlock classes, and sure, I think there's one better than the other two, right now especially. Um, but even if you were, uh, uh, what's the Destruction Warlock, which I think is the lowest one right now, I think you'd still be viable. And I, I don't think anybody would be like, oh, how, you know, it's... And Destruction's it's, actually good right now. It's it, Affliction thought, that's kind of in the oh, that sucks. garbage. In the doo-doo. But it's not necessarily like, oh, you have to pay, play this spec, but 
you know, there's a kind of an optimal build for each spec, right? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think uh, I know uh, Vane who has made an outlaw rogue. He was kind of saying himself, like, I don't really want to go on Wowhead and be told how to put my character together. I know. And so I, you know, I don't have a problem with that. It it can be very detrimental to like, if you're trying to go really far and really hard, but I, I think, you know, overall the channel's focus, I think is us having fun together and uh, we are learning and we are trying to get better. And, you know, obviously if we can get really good down the line, that'd be awesome. But I, I want to make sure that this stays fun, you know, because if it's not fun, then it's, it's going to suck. And then people are going to get, they're going to push away from each other. People are going to quit and leave and go do other stuff. And that's why I said I hate bringing it up, but it depends on how competitive we want to get with trying to push. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know and I mean? like we were just talking with uh, the opening there with Goat possibly looking at Unholy, and it's like. Number one, I don't think you're going to drastically see a huge change in your DPS going on Holy, especially early yeah. on. When you switch on Holy, you're going to be like, the hell am I doing? And you have to relearn yeah. all your buttons, right? <laughs> to learn things again. Half of your oh, skills are going to be new. You know what I mean? Like this, it's, And you're, gonna, you're actually going to dip drastically as you relearn it and learn all the dungeons. Um, you might even come out higher. You might not. And it's, it's so drastically close that at our tier of play, which is not super high, those those subclasses it's like like the only ones i could think of that aren't useful right now that it would be weird to see is like survival hunter feral druid although i even think cat druid actually sort of has some spot cat, it's cat really druids weird. actually got beefed up a little bit in the season um and, and i actually uh, arms warrior is Single target does all right, but its AOE is very bursty. It actually they have the highest burst damage of any DPS in the game, but on oh, sustained shit. damage output, it's it's very low because of the rotations. You either spec towards uh, uh, Blade Storm, and then you have a minute and a half cooldown, and it's useless on bosses or a very very low priority on bosses because it's not that great. Like I'm loving my Arms Warrior by all means, but it's a pretty I can understand why people don't use Arms Warrior in like Mythics and stuff. Yeah, with that uh, panda thing coming out, now that'll help us boost other characters too to have backups. Yeah, that's going to be a great time to really experiment with other classes, and because uh, it, it lasts for a long time, and every character you level on, it's going to make the next character even faster to level. Yes. So uh, yeah, am I correct in understanding that we're not going to be able to use those characters until? war within yep that yes. is how i understand it yeah uh originally when i had read the post it said once it ends we'll get the characters i think it ends on but the it, it, it's like it's, august 20th yeah it's going for so long that uh i don't anticipate even if they if we do get them it would be for what a, a couple weeks i'm curious yeah. what the end game is like once you hit 70 is there their own do they have their own arenas do they have their own dungeons do they have their own you know i, mean? I know is, they have their raids? their raids and stuff but yeah. um is there actually gonna be level 70 raids for panda i think so and um there is you can see all the achievements for this already in game hmm. so if you go to like the little achievement tab you can see the mop remix achievements yeah. and there's a lot of like Oh, if you complete this achievement, you get a bronze, um, what, like a cash or something. And then there's like a greater yeah. cash and a lesser cash. So, and then there's one that gets you a title. It's like Time Runner or something of the Mist. I think a lot of kind of the end game for that because the the raids are going to be unlocked at early levels up until you know once you hit seventy, there's another one that unlocks. I think a lot of the end game is going to be just trying to unlock everything and trying to get all the different uh you know cosmetics mounts yep whatever yeah it, i think it's it's really just a way to get a shitload of miss of pandaria transmogs mounts toys all that stuff titles and things and then leveling characters yeah so i mean and i'm perfectly fine with that because you know i haven't played much pandaria and being able to level a bunch of characters really quickly is 
going to be nice without having to drop, you know, $60. Uh, everything is much nicer without $60. Yes. So, <laughs> so no access to the auction house, which is interesting too, because now whatever end game stuff, you can't go get buy stuff. Like you can't buy enchantments or anything like well, that. Well, it's going to be like its own separate, like server type thing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm assuming so. Yeah. But yeah. Just yeah. The players won't be able to use the auction house in World of Warcraft Remix. Oh yeah. I was going to say we should find and select a um a horde sir a, a horde dominant server because i do want to level some horde characters okay. uh just because you know sometimes i want to be like. a orc bro <laughs> so, do you want to level horde just to experience hordes like world stories. stuff and stories because with panda it's not going to be great because realistically i think Everybody has the same storyline. Earlier on, when you land, it's like the different airships uh, mm -hmm. fight is a little different. But other than that, you pretty quickly go into like the one. There's the one with the village where you like you have to play the sniper. There's like a little quest where you you're like shoot guys with the sniper rifle and stuff. And like there's oh like, yeah, I think I have story. played that quest actually. <laughs> and, but that's same for both sides. Like all that stuff is right. pretty much the same quests. You know, it's more for just kind of flavor. And, you know, sometimes I do kind of want to play, a, you know, a troll or an orc or something, but we don't really get to do that being so focused on Alliance. Yeah. Uh, you know, something we might could do is maybe, you know, each season, maybe we could kind of switch sides or it, even if it's not every season, just every once in a while, like, let's do Horde this season. Just kind of keep things uh, You just want to make know. a Vulpirin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I obviously oh, I... want to make a little fox character. <laughs> I love I have out of Volpera Warlock in Shadowlands. This is a lot of fun. The no, I think really ma mainly us. um troll or what's that? A goblin. I would probably goblin want to make a troll or a goblin. <laughs> the goblin starting area is probably it's one the of the best better, like <laughs> stories and stuff. Make a goblin just to play through the goblin starting area. Okay. It's yeah, awesome. I'll have to do that. And and pay attention, like turn the audio on, listen, have the actual music that's playing. Like everything, get the whole experience of like a new player kind of thing. It's it's a it's cool. It uh, is. It's it's like it's you're in like a modern city, which is so weird in comparison to like wow oh, yeah. like villages and stuff. Right. Yeah. It's probably the best starting area. Yep. All I liked, right. I will have to do that. I liked what they did with the panda one back then because you you actually played both sides and then it made you choose Hoarder Alliance kind of thing. Like you had to choose which way you want to go. And of course at the time that wasn't a big deal because you could have Horde Alliance on the same server. Now I don't believe you can, or it can't, I can't remember how they changed it, but yeah, you actually like chose which direction you wanted to go at the end of like the starting characters for the Panda stuff. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to do that, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to kind of like find a central, based server that is more horde dominant so you know we can also just kind of see different people than we're used to seeing as well but uh yeah. beyond that uh shout out to shane meyer blackstone plainview ck we've had a bunch of different people hanging out in our streams and it's awesome i have to apologize again to blackstone plainview for <laughs> listening to me <laughs> laugh and talk to myself for like almost four hours well, and the crazy <laughs> part was is it was we were all talking and we're trying to salute like wait what if we try this or what if we do that or oh, i think that's what's killing us or whatever and he was saying stuff as if he was almost replying to all of us yeah you know what i mean and like or maybe we're just thinking it at the same time but it was just, just like, had to be picking up on like things that i was yeah. saying and responding to people yeah it was it was but it was i i love it I really appreciate the fact that people want to be there and be like, Hey, this is what you want. You know, I, uh, it's so much better than yeah. people that are going to go, Oh, uh, you, you don't know how to do this. Like, well, obviously we don't, yeah. we're learning like, who, you know, we're, and I appreciate you pointing. Yeah, out. for yeah, sure. It's positive awesome. interaction. It's awesome. But yeah. If, even if we had somebody in there like, Oh, you guys suck. Like, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what are You're you right. doing here, bro? <laughs> Duh. Why are you watching us do mythic two? Why do you think we're doing this? You're supposed to watch us to laugh at us. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anybody else have anything to say before we wrap this up? Uh, come PvP more. Yeah, I need to start uh, leveling up my PvP, dude. It's, or it does not up. take long to get the gear. It really like a, like a early on it sucks because you get you're stomped on. But if you do like the little daily quests and stuff or the weeklies, 
it doesn't take too long. You get through it. You kind of figure out your rotation. You figure out where your utilities are for stuff. You figure out how to stun and kind of lock things down. And then once you get like the, the full base set of gear, which is not a, it's, you know, 4,000 honor, which really does not take long to get. No, that's not long. Uh, shoot one, one battleground I just got out of. I got like 1400 honor. Oh, there you go. That's already like multiple pieces. That, that at least two pieces and you get the two trinkets and then they give you buff bonuses and you get your versatility up and you just become more survivable. And so even when you have half your gear or 60% of your gear, you're, you're doing much better than most of the people in those battlegrounds. And so you're on par with other people and you might lose like the super geared out people, but you're still like staying in a little longer. Uh, Hell yeah. Way awesome. Yeah. I will have to start doing that. Uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit of time this week to jump into that. But that's the podcast, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Help support the What's My Role channel. Find us on YouTube, TikTok, IG, Facebook as What's My Role or What's My Role MMO. We play in the Muradin realm on the Alliance side. If you want to apply to join our guild, the Mythic Mafia, just join the Discord and introduce yourself. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Uh, Damn, I'm surprised nobody put anything down there. (laughs) 